Hello everyone. Welcome to Kjo Fit stretch number two. I decided to do this outside since I'm not doing this in the morning today. It's a nice day. So let's breathe a little, shall we? All right. This is going to be all sitting down. So I'm on this lovely yoga mat here and we're going to start out in a butterfly position. So just sit up nice and tall. We're going to flap our wings, as we like to say in dance class. Flap your butterfly wings. I'd like you to sit up nice and tall. Stretch your spine. Reach your vertebrae all the way up to the sky. And now open your chest. Push your rib cage forward. You're going to feel some tension in your low back and just kind of rock side to side. While you're doing this, I want you pushing your shoulders down, thinking spine is tall, but shoulders are pressing down. All right, good. Let's turn and let's press down our opposite knee, twisting away, breathing. Four, three, two, and one. Opposite side, twist into it. Make sure you're lifting your spine. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Let's go ahead and bring your knees up. Oh, this is dusty. We're going to get black all over. All right, while you're here, I want you just to flex and point. And flex and point. Now give yourself a nice massage down the front of your shin. There's a muscle right outside the bone called the anterior tibialis. You probably don't give it too much attention, but it is wonderful. Go ahead and flex and point and flex and point. Lift that right leg. Let's circle four, three, two, one. Opposite four, three, two. Other side and a one, two. Three, four, and a one, two, three, four. Good. Go ahead and tuck one leg. Let's cross the other one over. We're going to sit up nice and tall, twist up into it. Today we're really working on the glutes and the hips and the low back. So everything we do is going to be deep muscles, not going to be very show off y stretching. You're going to feel it if you do it right. Okay, now I want you to pull that knee towards your chest. I feel that pull in my low back, and then I'm going to sit up and twist into it a little bit more while, again, pulling the knee towards your opposite shoulder. You might even feel this on the inner part of your thigh. Four, three, two, and one. Now we're going to push away the opposite way. We're going to put your hand here, push the knee down, and really get some space. Four, three, two, and one. Good. Now we're going to take this foot. We're going to rotate it opposite way. And now I want you just to kind of push down. Let's stretch through the first part or the front part of this arch. What happens is if we're walking a little bit pigeon toed, then this rolls in. You might have dropped arches and it's incredible how much this impacts every other part of your body when you are not walking on the proper parts of your foot and uh, some small tweaks in the way you walk and some little alignments can make a big difference. Let's go ahead and now take it, stretch forward all the way over. Four, three, two, and one. We're going to make it a little bit tougher. I want you to take your arms and reach around. Now keep looking down, but reach over. This is going to really push some pressure over, pushing deeper into your glutes. You're going to feel this in your low back. Good. Now I want you to take those arms and twist towards the side with your knee bent and go down as far as you can. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Keep going. Exhale, 2, and 1. Very nice. Last but not least, we're going to lean back and you're going to push as far away as you possibly can. So you're creating all this space here in your hip flexors. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice. Other side. Tuck this in. Now, even if you don't have a lot of pain and you do this type of stretching, it's going to make a huge difference for you because this helps your pelvic be in the right position, your pelvic floor, and that impacts the way you lift weights, the way you walk, 
the way your posture is working all day. So sit up nice and tall. Now we're going to pull that knee in towards you. My goodness, that's quite painful, actually. Doesn't look like that much happened, does it? Three, two, and one. Good. Now we're going to take this leg and push it down, lean away from it. So it's amazing. One of the things I like most about stretching is it forces you to really think and be connected with your body. It forces you to breathe. It forces you to focus your mind. So often we live our days going ping, 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 distracted on every end. And that doesn't do us any good and doesn't build our productivity. It doesn't help us get things done. It doesn't help us enjoy and live fully and standing in each moment of each day. Wow, I definitely feel that. Do you feel that? That feels lovely. And I think that's really one of the keys to happiness. It's a choice every hour of the day, but sometimes we're not doing everything in our power to make every hour of the day awesome. There's some little hacks to life. Let's go ahead and reach those arms while I'm talking. Some of those hacks being what kind of mindset are we in? Are we in a, a limited mindset, meaning we just have accepted that things are the way they are, or are we in a growth mindset, meaning that we are willing to make change. We are willing to accept that progress is possible. We are willing to work for things, to learn from things. We accept the fact that we are ever evolving creatures and our environment is constantly changing. And that's a really beautiful place to be in. So ask yourself, are you in a limited or are you in a growth mindset? Let's go ahead and now push back in a wave, create a ton of space in those hip flexors, kind of take your belly a little concave. So you're rolling to the soft part of your bum. This is the hard part of your bum. This is the soft part of your bum. And uh, one other thought on the, the limited and the growth mindset is you can start to recognize those voices um, once you just start to heighten your awareness. Pay attention to what voices you allow in your mind, what thoughts you allow in your mind, and you will start to recognize that you have the power to talk back to those voices and tell them, no, I, I am growing, I am changing, I am learning. I want you to take both your hands and go like this underneath your legs. And I want you now to push your spine back and tuck your chin and oh, enjoy that. That is just lovely. Through your back, through your shoulder blades, your low back. Go ahead and just kind of rock it left to right. Oh, there's nothing like that. Mm, just luxuriate in that. All right, let's go ahead and take it down to the ground. So gently roll down one vertebrae at a time. I'd like you to cross one leg over, take your hands underneath this knee, and you're gonna pull this knee to your chest. Now your pelvis, I would like it to come off the ground because that's the first part of this. Just fill this deeper in this glute right here, okay? So let's go four, three, two, and now I want you to try and push your pelvis to the ground without moving your leg. You're going to get that resistance. You're still pulling your knee in, but you're trying to get your pelvis to the ground, and my oh my is that lengthening that muscle, and it's pretty incredible. <sighs> now you're trying to now push your knee, this knee that's bent up towards the ceiling. You create all your own resistance in stretching. Good. Now I want you to just hold on to this leg, keep it there while you extend this leg. I want you to flex this foot and now you're going to push it out, trying to get your knee down to the ground while keeping your back nice and flat. Okay, you're going to feel this in your low back, your glutes. Four, three, two, and one. If you would like, you can try to extend it up, straight all the way through the hamstring. Be gentle. Only go to the level that you're ready and then let it release all the way down to the side. That does not look like I'll be doing that on the other side. Okay, let's now cross that left leg over. Oof, that feels amazing. It released so much in that hip. They get so tight and it's just amazing what we go through the day experiencing so much tightness and pain and we don't think about it. We, it's just kind of a dull ache in the background, but when you just take five to ten minutes and you just release them, it's pretty powerful. Let's pull that pelvis off the ground. Pull, 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 pull. get that knee in. 
And now pushing the pelvis down to the ground, trying to keep the knee at the same height. Oh my heavens, four, three, two, and one. Wow. <laughs> okay. Let's now take this leg, put this other leg extended. We're going to flex this foot and we're going to keep that same angle and push that knee out past our rib cage. If you can, your goal is to get it all the way down to the ground. Now, if you're down to the ground and you're like, I don't feel it, Christy, you need to give yourself some resistance and you need to push against this. So you're trying to push your knee down while you're trying to push back out and you're feeling everything in your groin extend even more. The more you press that knee down and out, the deeper stretch you're gonna get as well. But if you're filling up for it, extend out to the level that you feel comfortable and let it release all the way down. Outside is best. All right, let's go ahead and come up, tuck your chin, roll out one vertebra at a time. Last but not least, extend your legs. Let's flex those feet and let's just reach, push your rib cage forward, keep your head up as much as possible. I want you to try and get your heels off the ground, push your knees down. And now I want you to take three scoots back, two and three, and hopefully you got yourself a little bit further. <sighs> Press those knees down, 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 down. Heels up, 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 up. Rip cage forward, forward, forward. And go ahead and grab your heels or your calves or your quads, whatever level you're ready for, and pull. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Roll it up. Let's take a head roll to the right. 2, three, four, and the left, two, three, shoulders roll back, and a one, and a two, two more, three, and a four. All right, we did it. I hope your hips are looser. I hope your glutes feel better. A little more releasing through the low back, the hips, but give yourself that little bit of love and care and being on the guard for uh, mindset today, growth versus limited mindsets. We want to be in a growth mindset. Thank you for joining me today. Share this with anybody who you think could benefit from it. And I will see you guys in our next Cajo Fit Workout. Power your body. One meal, one workout, one day at a time.